What's up everybody, I'm the Mangoose, you are awesome, and Undying Games has finally revealed the face of the 14th hero slated for their alpha. Let's take a look at Marina. We've known about Marina for a while now, we just haven't seen her face. Before all we had was this image that kind of cut the top part of her head off, but now we get to see her in all of her glory. She doesn't look quite as colorful as what seemed to be previously planned, however I'm sure there will be skin variations and such if you had your heart set on the original color palette. If you don't know anything about Marina, she is set to be an aquatic based support myth. She's a powerful guardian from an aquatic realm with a taste for adventure tempered by a solemn sense of duty. I'm very excited to see what Tricolor does with her voice lines. So now we get a look at two of the supports planned for the Alpha, the other one being the musically themed Nikolai. We also know that each class in Ethereal has their own special passive, however we still don't know what the support passive will be. I can't wait to see the ability sets for both Nikolai and Marina. I tend to gravitate towards support heroes and with only appearance to go on, I really can't decide which one I like better, a fine ass mermaid or a cute little furball. One thing I really want to highlight here is the overall appearance of Marina. Many people have criticized Ethereal for taking a more cartoony approach to their hero design, but as you can see, they changed it. The goal is a Final Fantasy look for their myths, and the end result is very realistic looking. Let's take a look at a side-by-side -side comparison with Lieutenant Bellica from Paragon. I think this can officially put to rest the concerns that Ethereal won't have the same aesthetic impact that Paragon had. Paragon's graphics are what drew many people to the game, and it looks like Ethereal will have the same appeal. And they're pulling this off as an indie studio. Undying so far has produced content that rivals anything Epic did with no funding. Everything that needs to be paid for comes out of their own pockets. I can't imagine what they'll be capable of when this game gets off the ground and they can start monetizing. Now that we've got a good look at all the various heroes slated for Ethereal's Alpha, let me know which one has grabbed your interest and why. If you're just now learning about the game, take a look at the video I did covering all of the myths linked in the video description below. Hopefully, I'll eventually get to see you all in the ether in some way, either watching your back with Marina or stabbing you in the back with best girl Malaya. But for now, this is the Mangoose signing off. You guys have a good one. Mangoose!